Back from our main in abyss, and in the last episode, we're finally getting into the survival training, guys. I'm hyped. Uh, should be exciting. And yeah, let's see what these two can do. And I wonder if Rico is ever gonna get any stronger as well. But honestly, they really hype these uh, whistles up to be no joke. You know, I can see the girl getting better in the future. Yeah. The whistles definitely are a symbol for more than just you know the deeper caves. <clears throat> you gotta train without that power, man. It kind of reminds me of Naruto training without the Nine Tails Fox power. I like it, bro. Uh, I wouldn't go towards the glowing light. Don't you know that purple is the universal color for poison? Oh, wait a minute. It's the fountain of youth, Johnny. Fountain of fucking death, bro. This does the opposite. It kind of sounds like clean water. Oh, interesting. So it has to be clean if those of those bugs are in there. I don't know, bro. Why is it purple? I guess yeah, it's she's just an the... excavator, bro. She oh, you know what? what? Yeah, about. it's just the the light of those bugs. Yeah, it's not the water itself, Chris. I don't know, man. I don't trust it. Oh hell no! What the hell is that? Yo, it's a freaking hippopotamus <laughs> combined <laughs> with a rhino. Yeah, it looks like a rhino. I gotta survive through the night, <laughs> travel in the light. That gave them the right. You see, man. That gave them the right scare, bro. Now they're really getting. Uh, hunkered down. They're like, yo, we need to build a base. We need to survive. Fire. Food. Shelter. <laughs> Meanwhile, she nah, says but that. But the bugs are going to be attracted, though. Fucking mosquitoes. Oh, that Yo, makes... these are deadly mosquitoes. The one thing I hate most about camping Susceptible outside. Susceptible to is... light, huh? <laughs> they need to get insect repelling plants now. <laughs> they don't know that insects gravitate towards the light. <laughs> Is that one of the guys from I our like party? That. He's like, he's like, she, she's ambitious, but her body can't keep up what she wants to do. That's a uh, foreshadowing for her to get stronger. <clears throat> hey, yo. <laughs> that rhino hippopotamus. Yeah. That this shit is definitely a hippo. I like how their mission is to catch the hippo. Because it's such a problem right now. Hey, man, hippos are nothing to mess with. How would you know? I've seen fucking uh, documentaries it's, on them. It's dung. Ew. Could you I told move? you, I told you Rico was gonna be the one with the plan. Yo, if I was him, I'd be like, can you please move the shit? Heating that shit up. Ew. That shit probably making a mean ass smell. It smells like hot ass. <laughs> it worked. It attracted it. Oh, Man. she got the high beamers. <laughs> Blinded him. Look like a car. Yo, he's in the tree! What the fuck? Or oh, behind it. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was smart. And the horn stuck to the bark. That's cool. She don't know anything about that, or does she? She, yo, she used to have her uh, girl by her side. Those in her and her mom seem like they're really close. Yeah. Uh, Seems like she's not really close to anybody anymore, but she might have been close to her mother back in the day. Torka. Oh, her husband. Her father. This is what we wanted to know. You <laughs> look like a baby. <laughs> Bro. Oh, we're getting a lot of this this time. And there's the cube thing. Did she just give birth? So this part of the story was true, like we were saying. I was questioning whether or not she was telling the truth in this too. Yeah, she was considering not even. She heard Ozen it was heard the cry. She thought it. She thought it was dead. That's so cool. Imagine. <laughs> She's taking on another burden. She, she has another person now that she has to guide. And uh, she might have to start get, getting a connection with. She can't help it. She looks just like her mother, yo. Like, she can't just leave her. Hey, man, you don't know what her mother looks like. They don't show us her face. I mean, look at the hair, bro. <laughs> it's very similar. 
Uh oh. They're back. Oh, they made it. Was it only 10 days? I forgot. Yeah, there was a flash, a flash forward. No, I mean, like, was the test only 10 days or are they coming back early? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they said survive like 10 days or something. <laughs> Yo, Rico looks exhausted. For real. Uh, you know how hard it must have been for them to freaking survive out there? <laughs> Look all they had to go through for that hippo. <laughs> <laughs> it was the hippo causing them the most trouble. Bro, that was only on day one, bro. Who knows what happened on the other days? <laughs> There's no estimating. Damn, that is cool, bro. Time moves different down there, bro. You know what's crazy? It sounds like that thing in real life where you get lost, uh, lose track of time when you're somewhere. But this is actually legit fantasy stuff where it is like a hyperbolic time chamber down there yeah it's, that's insane it really yeah. is almost like another world down there like a a hell a heaven whatever you want to call it it's another a plane of realm type shit down there <laughs> bro by the time rico gets to liza they're gonna be the same age they're gonna be like sisters <laughs> it, it would be interesting if like what she's saying right now liza like she is still like when she first went down there all the time this past has only been like a day for her, you know, or, or something. That'll and she's insane. still like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is going on here, you know. Because why else would she like wait so long yeah. to go back to for Rico? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, know, it's probably what's going it, on. It probably took her uh, what took her a day or a couple days, whatever, whatever she did to make this guy. Or I don't know if she did make him or what he is or what the connection he is to her. But I know he does have connection to his mother. But, you know, it, it wouldn't be that quick because you say, but if we assume that only a few years have passed, so a few years could have passed over the course of like 10, you know, yeah. so right, it's not that drastic or it's just a day. Yo, what? Yo, she is so weird. She literally is always hunched back and then she like. Yo, these are all the white whistles that are down there, Johnny. And she, remember what she says? They go mad down there, bro. They don't come back for a reason, Johnny, because they're fucking crazy. See, this is cool. We're going to see more and more whistles along the way type shit. Bro, why does she keep flicking everybody? The paper is an unknown relic? What? That's crazy. It can't be ripped even with my strength. She tried ripping it? <laughs> what in the world Damn, is waiting bro. down there? So, obviously, that message was very important to whoever wrote it because they made it on fucking paper that you can't even destroy <laughs> to make sure it got up there. Bro, the netherworld is probably crawling with hella rare relics. She's going to give them new weapons? What the, the fuck is that? She just got an upgraded pickaxe, bro. Let's go. For mining. Blaze Reap. The Everlasting. That should look mad cool. I feel like I am in again. I just got a new weapon. Oh, that's Liza's weapon. Yo. Wow. That was her mother's freaking shit. That even makes it even more special, bro. That shit looks hard. What the hell gunpowder in it? What the, is that a gun? <laughs> what type of fucking pickaxe is that, bro? It was a piece of junk that occasionally misfired. Yeah. She's still happy to have it, though. Who cares that shit probably has a jet in the back of it, so you can swing it hard. She's gonna teach him how to use it. Nice. Now Wait, this what? Is, this is finally what we wanted, bro. Now uh, Rico is going to have some type of Holy fighting capability as fuck. well. As, as well as, um, I mean, not Rico. What's her name again? I forget her name. Her name's Rico, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rico. Yeah, yeah okay. So many levels we're going to have to go through. The mysterious things. There's a lot that they're giving us. I'm not going to be able to remember all this, but this but is important this is for the future. This is all foreshadowing. It's literally telling us what's going to happen in all the uh, sense of moments. Or what they need for each part. Yeah, you know? what they need to do in each layer to, to survive and progress. That's cool, bro. They got handed like they a... They have uh, um, a manual, bro. A manual, like a manual for a video game type shit. Yeah, that's, what, that's what exactly what I was thinking. Like a fucking cheat sheet. 
Damn, bro. I knew this was going to happen eventually, but, like, she was having so much fun with them here. Bro, bro I felt bad for this little age. girl. Yeah, bro. Yes. She's literally the only one down I feel for player. her, bro. That's so sad. Because they showed the moments where she was so happy with them here. <laughs> That's so cool, bro. If you guys come back and say it's impossible, I'll be happy. But at the end of the day, I think she's still pleased. Damn, yo. Damn, Everyone cool. who has left, she didn't know if they were going to come back or not. And for them to leave, the first people she ever she, became yeah, friends she actually with. actually cared about these people, unlike the other people that's come and gone. Damn, gone. yo. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, the, the kid's name is Reg. They were picked. Uh, they were quick to pick it up, Johnny. Wait, what? Reg's memories. They keep mentioning Reg's uh, okay, memories. Okay, okay. I thought she was talking about her own memories, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah. There's something about the memories that they don't want it to come back so quick or something. No, she she says she she she's sad that she couldn't like uh, see the memories come back before they left. You know, she didn't want to let them uh, go until she knew more about that kid because she knew she knows that the kid has something to do with Liza, but he doesn't remember anything at the moment. That's cool. The yeah. more he gets deeper, the more I remember he's Liza. Gonna, exactly, and, yo. Yeah. If you notice, every time he has gotten deeper, he's always got like a little vision, a a, a voice in his head, something. You know. Yeah. So he's getting closer and closer connection to Liza as he goes down. That's dope, We've yeah. seen it happen before. This shit is so, oh man, so good. Bro, if anybody can make it, it's her. <laughs> That's why she it was at her, her request. Yeah, uh -huh. She wanted her to know everything. Damn, so she actually got to the surface with her daughter. It was her choice About to go how back. A miracle. There. <laughs> That's so cool. Yo, we finally saw her face too. This is such a cool moment, bro. <laughs> Sending her on to you. That's, easy, <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what she did, bro. Yeah. Easy enough uh, task for her to do, not out of her way. <laughs> Ozen is seeing before her an amazing a tale unfold, bro. <laughs> yeah, our main character, like I said, is very uh, special, you know? The fact that she was born down in the bottom and the fact that she died and somehow got resurrected through this uh, this thing. Like, she has so much mystery behind her that she is the key. She's the prodigy, bro. She is like the prophet. She's something, bro. She's something special um, when it comes to the religion or whatever the fuck is going down at the bottom here you know <laughs> there, was, there was also a cool thing liza said uh about rico is that she didn't want anyone to know that she was her daughter yeah to i protect um, her. i there's there's some the um questions that. about that too i'm not 100 percent sure what she meant by that exactly you she, know from kidnappers um, and shit you yeah know? i guess because of her reputation maybe people would go after her and that's why she didn't want her to know that that's her daughter yeah. but or was it because she was born at the bottom and she didn't want people to know that because they probably wouldn't accept her or something like that maybe or maybe she wanted to keep that a secret I don't know exactly what is the reasoning. I would want more context behind that, but we'll see. I guess we'll get some more context in the future. But yeah, um, that was cool to know that leader was um, Liza's apprentice. Did we know that already? Yeah, we did know that. Uh, we knew that uh, his, that um, he mentioned that he uh, her mother was his teacher. Um, I remember him saying that before. Yeah. That's um, how but, she got. That's how she knew her name. Yeah. And, so um, it's, that. it's that's cool. That's cool, and it, it makes sense for that character because he's always looking out for her. And I, I don't know if he knows or not, if that's his daughter, but I'm pretty sure he's aware. I don't Liza's know how he wouldn't know. It's if she didn't tell him or not. Yo, they made it to the entrance. This is the third layer, right? Yeah, man, this is, this is where no fucking regular uh, excavator goes, bro. Especially not Red Whistle. <laughs> Red Whistle ain't no. supposed to even be in here. The, that's the late, great, great fall. fall. Look at this thing. It's like a big ass crater. Damn, third layer. I like how they give the name and, of the third layer at the end there. Yeah, and they're already in the inverted forest. So like, <laughs> that's right, just so a quick trippy. review. Um, I I love it, bro. Everything about this, the, from the training to uh, Ozen explaining everything that 
they need to know going into the next layers. I love the relationship between Ozen and her mother. That seems so like genuine. And I love seeing Ozen's reaction to all these things. Even though she doesn't express it, she kind of is like excited about this in a way. She's uh, happy about it in a way, I feel like. I think she's more intrigued of anything. She, I think she really wants to know if her student made it to the bottom, you know? Because uh, she doesn't know what happened to her after all these years. She just went down there and never made it back. She's assuming that she's alive because she mentioned something about time moving different down at the bottom. Yeah. So that's all cool. Yo, the lore is just really cool, bro. It's just yeah, interesting it stuff. Um, the time and, moving, yeah, the time thing at the bottom too was a cool thing. Too. Yeah. I give it a 4.8. I want to see some more, some more uh, action. <laughs> you know, I like my action. I think you just like the adventure stuff that feels like a video game. Honestly, no, it just reminds me a lot, like of like, just classic format anime, but like told in a very unique, unique way. Advent. It, what do you think of like adventure? I think is a big part of that, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Remember to do the YouTube stuff. Subscribe, a like, and pledge to the Patreon if you want these Made in Abyss reactions earlier than YouTube gets them and in full length. We'll see you guys for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.